When you cut strips of fabric to make binding for the edge of the quilt, should you cut on the straight of grain or should you cut on the bias? There are some times when you must cut on the bias. For example, if you have curved edges or scallops, then you have to cut on the bias so that the binding can move around the curve of the quilt. But if you have straight edges, as most quilts do, then it comes down to personal choice. Binding that is cut on the bias will last longer and hold up to wear and tear. Because if you have bias that's cut on the straight of grain, then you have just a few strands of thread going in this direction in the weave of it. And as the quilt wears, it'll wear just on those few strands. Whereas if it's on the bias, then there are not a few threads taking all of the stress of the binding. So bias binding will last longer. However, straight binding is much easier and faster to do. So you'll have to consider that trade-off in your project. Do you wanna spend the extra time and sometimes extra fabric to make a bias binding that's gonna last 50 or 60 years? Or is a straight grain binding gonna be fine for this project? To be honest, in most of my projects, I do use straight grain binding. I don't go to the effort of doing bias binding, but that is a consideration that you would have to make. Both of these options are great ways to bind your quilt project. And no matter which one you choose, it's better than leaving it in the UFO pile with no binding at all. For more quilting tips, be sure to follow EBITDA Studio. Music